45 years ago, a strange event occurred in the history of the TV broadcast. A live TV broadcasting in UK was taken over by an alien intelligence named Raylan for full six minutes and conveyed a bizarre message for all humanity. This mysterious event remained unsolved till today. Section 51. On November the 26th, 1977, at around 5 p.m., a regular news programming of the Independent Broadcasting Authority on Southern Television Network, Southern England, was interrupted by a computer-generated voice. When Southern TV's news anchor Andrew Gardner was delivering the top news headlines, his voice got distorted. TV picture wobbled and people heard a strange metallic buzzing and then a deep and somber echoing voice that seemed to have been electronically disguised bellowed out from a person claiming to be an alien from another world. The voice called himself Vrilon and represented a certain body known as the Ashtar Galactic Command. It delivered an enigmatic message asking humans to give up warlike ways and embrace peace before it was too late. I won't share here the totality of the video because I must be careful about copyright risks on YouTube, but I invite you to watch the original video of his intervention in 1977 by clicking on the link below the video, so you can make your own opinion. Here is a version of this message with a different voice. The original text has been respected, you can find it in the original video on YouTube. This is the voice of Ayla, representative of the Ashtar Galactic Command, speaking to you. For many years you have seen us as knights and as scholars. We speak to you now to say what things we have done to your brothers and sisters all over this, your planet Earth. We come to remind you of the destiny of your race and your world so that you may be look to your fellow beings the course you must take to avoid the disaster which threatens your world and the beings on other worlds around you. This is an order that you may share in a great awakening as the planet passes into a new age of Aquarius. The new age can be a time of great peace and evolution for your race, but only the rulers are made of general forces and can outshine their judgments. Be still, now, and rest, for your chance may not come again. All your weapons of evil must be removed. The time for conflict is now past, and the race of which you are a part may proceed to the higher stages of its evolution if you show yourselves worthy to do this. You have but a short time to learn to live together in peace and goodwill. Small groups all over the planet are learning this, and exist to pass on the light of the dawning new age to you all. You are free to accept the rejection of the teachings of the Many go as wide as this. The then they run out. <laughs> Here now, the voice of Rilon, representative of the Ashtar Galactic Command, speaking to you. Be aware also that there are many false habits and guides at present operating on your world. They will suck your energy from you, the energy you call money, and will put it to evil ends, giving you worthless costs in return. But to not divine yourself to protect you from this, you must be able to be sensitive to the voice of the enemy, that can tell you what is true, and what is true. Really appreciate 
During the whole transmission, the video feed was touched with just a slight distortion. The message ended during the programming of the Looney Tunes cartoon. Andrew Gardner remained silent on the incident and acted as if nothing happened. However, the strange transmission was heard by thousands of people in the south of England who must have thought it was a joke. The TV station apologized to its viewers for the inconvenience and publicly dismissed the whole matter as a hoax. Soon, all British media outlets published the news about this incident and then it grabbed the attention of international media. The ITV company, whose broadcast was interrupted by this message, long and carefully searched for the culprit of the incident, a possible prankster or ingenious technician who managed to hack their equipment. Unfortunately, they failed to trace the culprit. They only managed to find out that the signal was sent to the Annington transmitter antenna located on Conington Hill and broadcasting to Berkshire and North Hampshire. And the signal source was quite small, located somewhere near the antenna. This incident has been studied many times by various researchers of anomalous phenomena and ufologists. Particularly famous is the work of John Rapion, a collector of British bizarre tales and folklore. Rapion claimed that the person behind the mysterious message had thoroughly prepared for his case and especially chose the time of the late afternoon news for the broadcast so that the maximum number of people could hear it. Rapion went on to examine several subsequent cases in which pranksters tried to interfere with American TV broadcasts and found that they were fundamentally different from the message of Ashtar. All American pranksters sent deliberately humorous messages on TV while Raylan's voice was broadcast in all seriousness and never said anything that would indicate something funny. And even the way Vreeland's voice sounded betrayed something completely different. It was not exactly a human voice, but something strange, electronic, extraterrestrial. Some supposedly real recordings of this broadcast can be found on the internet. But these may only be late reconstruction attempts. Many ufologists nowadays believe that Ashtar's message was a real attempt by aliens to establish contact with Earthlings and try to convince them not to start World War III. It is believed that in the late 1970s, the Cold War between the West and the USSR became especially tense and many people believed that a nuclear war was about to begin. Hacker or an alien, his message is still relevant today, in 2022. Will we soon hear a new pirate message from Ashtar's representatives in an attempt to prevent World War III again? Do any of you remember watching that live intervention in 1977? For my part, I was just born when the message was broadcast on TV for the first time. Section 51 is on social networks, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Don't forget to hit that like button and that bell button too. Don't forget to share the video and to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. This was Dos Geek with Section 51. I'll be back really soon. I'm counting on you. Open your eyes, watch the sky. Live long and prosper. May you bless all the supreme of the